One of Ontario's most significant infrastructure projects, known as Wate Nikiniap Power, took a major step forward recently with the federal government's announcement to connect Pakanjikum First Nation to the provincial power grid. The government of Canada is investing today, we're announcing, up to $60 million to bring safe, reliable electrical power to Pakanjikum. For Pakanjikum's chief, the news was almost overwhelming. It's a new beginning. I know our elders are just so eager to announce to the rest of the community that this is happening today. The Kanjikum, like several other First Nations communities in northwestern Ontario, currently relies on an aging diesel infrastructure, a situation that's led to an energy crisis in many of those communities. We were kind of in a halt due to uh, the uh, limitations of what the uh, old generators were able to, to do. But now with this, we're able to grow. The Kanjikum joined Wate Nikinia Power back in 2016, an unprecedented transmission project led by 22 First Nations that have partnered with Fortis Ontario to bring much needed power to northwestern Ontario. I'm very grateful that we have achieved another milestone in the project and uh, thinking about the, uh, the future and the children, the elders, that's where I come from and uh, this is a great day for everyone. This was a priority um, for this community but for the region. The region felt that to make this first step of Pakanjikum was a very significant um, gesture in terms of how do we show that we're serious about about really uh, the the future of this whole region. The announcement is being welcomed by First Nations who view the federal government's commitment as an important step forward in ongoing efforts towards reconciliation. Today's a really good announcement because uh, the federal government is finally coming to the table with something significant and uh, you know it's, it's been a long time coming and there, there is one aspect of shame but uh, it's time to celebrate today. Wate Nakinia Power will begin work on the 117 kilometer power line this fall with the aim to connect Pakanjikum by Christmas of 2018. First Nations hope this announcement signals a larger commitment on the part of the federal government to bring power to the rest of Ontario's remote communities. It uh, opens uh, doors for the future in terms of uh, building and expanding to other First Nations in the communities. And not only that, the commitment shows that there is support on, from the government on the project, the overall project of Watinaginia. This mustn't be viewed as a one-off uh, um, initiative. This is about a first step for our region.